So with more and more features and functionality being added to the iPhone, such as 4K video and high quality photos, it's easier than ever now to run out of space. So it becomes urgent for iPhone users to free up space on their phone now and again. But however, are you annoyed with those troublesome tasks of manually deleting and not wanting to take the risk of deleting important data by mistake? Well, don't worry. Trying out iMyPhone iPhone Cleaner allows you to use a one-click solution to free up space easily on the iPhone and, more importantly, safely. So first off, double-click to open iMyPhone UMate iPhone Cleaner and go ahead and connect your iOS device to your PC. So as you can see, the interface is very simple and straightforward. From the main interface, it displays how much space is being used on your device and how much free space is also available on your actual iOS device that you've gone ahead and plugged in. Now the great thing about iMyPhone UMate is that it integrates over 25 analyzing technologies to scan and analyze your data smartly. So just by clicking on this button right here, quick scan, this will give you a full space saving analysis on how much data can be saved by cleaning up junk files, temporary files, compressing photos, deleting larger files, and of course, removing those unused apps. Now that the scanning has been completed, it's clear that there's a ton of data to be saved and a ton of space that can be reclaimed. Actually, 14.41 gigabytes of space that can be reclaimed. And that's a big deal, because that means more files and applications that you can store on your device. So we can start to reclaim the data by clicking on any of these buttons here, or we can choose to rescan the iOS device if need be. So let's begin from the junk files. Clicking clean on this will allow the software to list all the junk files on your iPhone. And clicking clean here in the bottom right corner will allow the cleaning process to go ahead and start. After cleaning the junk files, it shows that we saved over 143.72 megabytes of data. That said, let's continue now with temporary file clearance. Clicking clear in the home interface, the clearing process will now begin immediately. Generating the clearing time with this depends on how much temporary files are on your actual iOS device, so it can of course range. And of course, iMyPhone UMate Cleaner will considerably show the needed time here, so about 10 minutes in this case. And as you can see, after the clearing of temporary files has been complete, we've saved 216.93 megabytes of space. Let's proceed with lossless photo compression by clicking on the compress button. This will show you a sample of how the compressed photos would look like. So what this does is it takes photos from your photo library and it compresses them using lossless format here to free up about 75% of your camera's photo space. And keeping in mind, all your photos will be backed up in this process. So in this case, you can see you can save me up to 9.83 additional megabytes. So we're going to go ahead and click on start here. Now the program is backing up and exporting all original photos to my computer here. Super considerate. This means that you don't need to worry about your photos being ruined or lost. And then after that, it compresses the photos to release space. In total, saving me an additional 9.83 megabytes. It's amazing, right? So let's continue to release more data by deleting large files and removing unused apps. I'm gonna begin here by removing unused apps on my phone just because the large file process, it'll actually restart your phone after the completion of it. So I wanna go ahead and show this first. So by clicking on remove here for the apps, this will allow you to manage your app space. Here, iMyPhone UMate lists all of the apps according to the space that they're occupying. Now, if all apps are important to you and you'd like to keep them all, well, it's better to have a clear understanding of how much space they're actually taking up, and it's never a bad thing to go ahead and review them to do some cleaning now and again. Now, you can go ahead and choose some unused apps here, and then go ahead and hit remove. After confirming, you want to remove the selected apps, just go ahead and hit the remove button, and then from there, the process will begin. So just from deleting that one unused app, I already saved 48.71 megabytes. Now let's move forward with deleting those large files. And when I say delete, I actually mean backup and delete, of course. So here we can select manually all of the videos we'd like to delete. And iMyPhone UMate iPhone Cleaner goes out of the way to go ahead and show you all files above five megabytes. So it makes it easier for you to go ahead and see those large files. So now I'm gonna go ahead and select some of the videos that I wouldn't watch regularly, and then go ahead and click backup and delete. After confirmation that the device will restart after the deletion is complete, I'll go ahead and hit the delete button. And then from here, the files will begin to be backed up from my phone to my computer, and then deleted off the phone, of course. And just like that, we saved another 244.22 megabytes. Amazing, all in all, I've got another 3.8 89 gigabytes of space that was released and now it's free space for me to use. 
Now, for some users who enjoy freeing up iOS space one by one or just want to clean some parts of their iPhone storage, you can start from each tab on the left here of the home interface. So it's super easy to operate uh, depending on what it is exactly that you would like to remove. And of course, if you want a one-click solution to freeing up space on your iPhone, then try iMyPhone UMate.